How are you doing, guys? Um, today, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to install the rear strut bar. I bought it recently. Um, at first, I thought it was going to be straightforward uh, to install it, but I have to admit that I needed to research online how to do this because it's not as simple. I looked in the in the boot in the trunk, and uh, I couldn't find any any clear evidence on how to do it um, or any clear hint on how to do it. So I found a video online um, and um, it's gonna take a lot of work, especially because I have um, I have the seats uh, for my kids here. So I'm gonna have to remove that and then I'm actually going to have to remove the actual back seats uh, to install the, uh, the, rear, uh, the rear strut bar. Um, so yeah, uh, join me and I'm, I'm expecting this to take longer than usual. Uh, there's always surprises. Hopefully this will be a good guide for others who want you to do the same thing. So I wanted to show you that it's not really visible on how to, to put, on where to put the bar. So as I said, I needed to do some research and ultimately I'm gonna have to remove the back seats uh, to put it. So I'm gonna get to work now and I'm gonna kinda try to track how long it's gonna take Here's the strut bar that I bought, as you can see. Bought it off, off of Scooby World. Um, if anybody's interested, I can, uh, I can share you this, uh, this specific link. So, as I said, to make things more complicated for me, I have to remove my kids' seats. Um, so that's gonna take a little longer. And then I'm gonna be able to start doing what I'm supposed to do. All right, so two uh, children's seats out. Didn't take me, didn't take me not even uh, three minutes, but obviously uh, it's so dirty. Yeah, gotta get that cleaned up ASAP. Um, According to the instructions um, I watched and read online, um, it's 12, it's a 12 bolt all around, so that's good. Uh, some standard, uh, some some standardization all across the process. So yeah, I'm gonna start working on it now. There's a few bolts. I, I think it's at least six. Oh, that's one bolt right there. And then it's the same thing on the other side. So that's where you get started. And then once the seat is removed, there will be there will be some on top there. Got the two bolts already out. I mean, as you can expect, it's not that complicated. It's really straightforward. So now the seat lifts up. So it's a bit dirty here. Um, I'm gonna remove it completely, and then and then I'll be able to have more access to the next boats but this gives you an idea of the process so far okay so I just got the seed out <laughs> but this is funny um, it's from 2006 uh, and it does gives me evidence that this car has been in Ireland at least since this time so it's been pretty much all of its life an Irish car uh, which is quite interesting um, I thought this was somewhat recently imported. So you have these bolts now, as I said, once you remove the seat, um, you can remove these and then we're going to have visibility, uh, visibility into the, um, into the strut bar, uh, location. Um, just some update, as you can see, I've already removed two of them. Um, these are a bit tricky. So if you do have the flexible um, wrench, um, that's definitely gonna help you, especially here. So removed everything. Um, just a lesson learned, a quick one here. As I was trying to just pull it out, I couldn't. So you actually have to pull and lift up um, so that then it comes off. So there it is, by pulling and lifting. Um, 
you have now visibility into where the strut bar goes. All right, let me open this up. So, very similar, very similar to the one I bought for the front. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm, let me get started. So a hint here, um, you have this line here. It's actually coming from the the um, the ice water, the coolant that goes straight to the intercooler. Um, so when you're installing the bar here, I have to be very very careful not to mess it up. So I'm gonna be quite careful. Um, and yeah, uh, plenty of patience as usual. So it's not all 12s here, okay? Because I cannot get through with this piece here. So guys, I've tried and it's basically impossible to, to do anything about this specific bolt without removing this piece. Um, so it's actually a 14 and I'm trying to get that off quite carefully. Hopefully it won't do any damage so that I can put it back and work just as expected. Obviously we're talking about a seat belt, so gotta be very careful with the way you do things. So you see after this is removed, it certainly makes a difference, helps you reach it better. Hopefully it's gonna pay off and I'm gonna be able to complete this. So now you can see it coming off. Obviously we're gonna do that for the same side and we have to be careful with this hose that I told you about and it goes through all the way to this container where you can put, uh, where it's gonna throw ice water on the intercooler. I mean, this is really tight, so without this type of tool that I have that is flexible, I'm not sure one can complete this, okay? So remember, this is a 14, and um, gotta remove this in order to have better access to the towers here. Um, yeah, not simple. So, uh, I mean, I've needed this, okay? So you need a, a rubber hammer to be able to put this down, because I could not do it manually. Um, it was not simple. Be careful with this hose. Um, obviously, you don't want to damage it. Yeah, again, not very simple task here, but I, I'm getting some progress. Okay, so one side is completed. Um, I actually managed to get an extension, and this really helped me out to finish this uh, the seat belt bit. And uh, do it with confidence, you know, because you want to make sure this is really tight the way it's supposed to be. Uh, and these were okay as well. Uh, not too, too complicated. So one side done, have to do the other side. So, so far, I've spent an hour and a half on this. So this one, for whatever reason, was the easiest one to put in. I've put it, a, I've put it multiple times, multiple times. But the other side, it's much more complicated. Really don't understand, but uh, some people might know. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to finish this off and then putting the bar across should be the easiest step. So second part, second side's fitted. Um, almost two hours into this. 
guys, so as expected, once we had the pink parts uh, fitted and through, putting the bar itself was not too hard. So this took about 15 to 20 minutes or so. Um, you do need an additional tool, um, some pliers to, um, to make sure that it holds nicely. Um, yeah, it's not overly complex, but it's nice now, nice and firm. Yeah, it's nice now and nice and firm and uh, now I just gotta put the seat back um, pretty much the reverse process of what I've done earlier so so guys putting it back as I said earlier is the reverse so gotta make sure that it's nice and firm okay so you got it on my initial attempt it was coming back it was loose so now I'm I'm quite sure it's firm and it has it has gotten into the hook. Now it's really just putting the bolts back and uh, doing the next uh, the next bit. So progress updates here, as you can see, they're all all four are in. Um, this is what I used. Um, I have an extension, as you can see, it makes my life easier. Without the extension, this gets in the way. So again, very helpful this I'm taking a bit longer I vacuumed it um, now I'm wiping it and it's pretty much ready to go so now the final piece and I should be done okay so all finished just have to clean up now so add five more minutes to this um, but yeah it's all done um, the overall time that it took between three hours and a half to four hours again this is the first time I'm ever doing this and I did this I did some background check background research on how to do this so between three and a half to four hours um, bars here nice and tight here it is so yeah guys hopefully um, you will learned a few things from this I'm just gonna do now a final recap of all the tools that I used and that's it so these are pretty much all the tools that I've used. Um, so you do need a 12, 12 uh, socket. This is a 17 as well. Uh, we have two different sizes of 17. You, we did use 14. Okay, so you do need 14 as well um, for this. And again, if you do have these with the flexible head absolutely helpful um, for this type of job and that was helpful on the final part so yeah uh, thanks for watching and that's it